Hello guys, Wuhu here, back with a video. This time around, as the title says, a quick video on some thoughts and stuff like that that we got this leak. So yeah, I was sent to me this last night that they were in a Twitch chat. I blurred out some of the names, uh, but you can see the thing uh, in a moment. <laughs> I'm gonna switch over to that, but it's from Chicken Nuggets. Thank you for sending me the information or the screenshot of the conversation and I'm gonna give my uh, thoughts on what it might be happening and we don't know anything yet we haven't gotten anything leaked really or anything said but and it's also very hard to predict what's actually going to happen because you know, Trove is in a way not really missing something. And I'm making this very, very uh, hard, you know, quotations right here because there's always stuff that you might, everybody has ideas, I have had ideas. Uh, the main thing that I said for my idea video a while back is that I think that we should have something for the end game. So I'm pretty sure that's also what we are going to see. I'm pretty sure we're not going to see any improvements to anything else, but uh, we'll see what happens. But we're at least we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the leak that I don't want the leak, but the information, I guess we can call it. Um, I probably put leak in the title, but it's just sort of a little bit of a teaser. I, can, I guess you can also call it. But yeah, I'm just going to, you know, make some predictions from what I think is going to happen. I have no idea. I haven't talked to anything. I'm just going to be very excited whenever something is going to happen. I'm not going to pursue. I'm, you know, if I ask very nicely, I might get an answer just like somebody else could also ask, but it's not guaranteed I get any answers. And I just want to rather be surprised of what they're going to get me instead of uh, knowing everything on beforehand. I'm just going to be pleasantly surprised. So yeah, with that said, uh, let's jump over to the uh, Twitch chat. All right, we got the Twitch chat here, guys. As you can see, I blurred out some of the names, but uh, of course you can see from the beginning, it says hi, and one of our favorite for sure, we got some exciting stuff coming soon. And then some people are uh, chatting away, and then it said, I'm pretty uh, certain that they're the Crystal Gems hang out with Steven Universe. So I'm not, or Seven, Steven Seven Universe. Uh, usually Seven is not spelled with a big letter, but anyways, um, the point is of this one, we will also talk about the bottom here, but what if we are getting crystal gems or crystal gems tier, that could be cool, that would be awesome, that would be great, all that stuff. Um, but I just do want to address this because crystal gems, they're going to probably work just as we have, you know, uh, everything else. Maybe we just have to add, and that would be cool because I got a lot of cosmic gem uh, dust. You know, a lot of people do have that because when you loot collect crystal gear of any tier, you don't get flux out of it. You get the uh, different materials and stuff like that, but not flux, but instead you get, uh, you know, cosmic dust. So I just kind of stopped actually farming uh, U8, U9, uh, U10, U topside because there was just no flux in it. Uh, because yes, you do also get the other items and stuff like that, but you're not as much as you do in U9, for example. So I just farm U9. Yes, the experience is worse, but uh, I'd rather have the uh, flux than experience most of the time. So um, the gym dust, basically, we do use for anything at all. So my thoughts are that if we are getting crystal gems, they are, you know, being the different uh, colors as well. But I think the the bonus material is that you, if you got red gems, for example, we usually just use red dust and flux, right, to upgrade them. Of uh, maybe some upgrading tools and whatnot if you want to uh, do do those, but. I think that then the new component is going to be crystal gem dust. So that's going to be the new component as well. So when we're going to level them up, it's just, just going to be something used for that as well. Because also if you're upgrading gems uh, with the augments and stuff like that, it only takes blue dust, yellow dust and red dust. So we're not using that either uh, for upgrading gems. So basically crystal dust is only used to upgrade those gems and there is only three slots. So yeah, that's like seven teams times three, right? That's going to be pretty quick. You are going to, you know, actually be unnecessary to use or get any more uh, dust. There's also a tome for it and I don't even do that one. I still do the red, the yellow and the blue tome for the dust, even though it's only 5,000, you can get a lot more faster, but it's just not uh, enough. So that's my like sort of thing. What I, th I think that's going to happen with these crystal gems. Uh, something I am also, you know, certain of is that uh, we are probably going to start from scratch again. 
that's going to make a lot of people upset because a lot of people have been, uh, you know, going completely, completely from, you know, uh, you know, completely, I mean, going from one to 100, you know, uh, in, in all the stats and all that stuff and make every single, you know, gym perfect and all their classes and stuff like that. So I'm just pretty sure that we are going to start from scratch i'm just sort of preparing you guys for that because that is a very much a certain uh, not a certainty that we are but usually that is what is going to happen but i do hope that they are going to change the system in the way that um that we are not going to start completely from scratch but you can transfer and I know this is a completely new system. Uh, this is actually a system from, uh, you know, from Lost Ark that I've also been playing uh, uh, some time. Uh, but you can transfer everything you basically put into your uh, gear and then you can transfer it over. I'm not, I haven't done it actually yet, but I just know you can transfer it over. So I wouldn't say we should not get like, hey, if you have a level 25 uh, stellar gem with completely best stats and stuff like that that you can just completely convert it one to one to the new tier but i would say that you could basically transfer most of it over like one like two thirds maybe of the whole cost of the thing so all stats would be like at 75 percent instead of starting at like 30 percent or something like that if you or maybe even lower if you're unlucky with the stats and stuff um which, which you know stellar gems is now so you could start at like 75 percent yes it is you know going to be requiring you to get from 75 on all the stats to 100 and that's going to be a grind but you do have to keep in mind that if we start at like converting one to one people are going to be everybody's going to be like, yeah cool awesome i don't have to do anything but then people are going to complain that there is no content to do so it's crazy crazy hard to balance this because some people are going to be like yeah cool let's start over i'm ready i'm just gonna i love the grind i will do it and some people are going to be upset because they put a lot of time into it and i totally get that you should also be rewarded for you know all the time and effort you put into uh, you know all doing all this you should be rewarded for that but i'm also you know people are <laughs> gonna like i said complain if there's no enough content and they're gonna be done with it a week and then be over with it right and in sure, there's going to be people that are still going to be done in a week and all that stuff. But I'm just saying that's just very hard to balance people's expectations because some people are going to be happy that we're starting all over. Some people are going to be mad that they put all this time in. And where is the golden uh, ticket or whatever? Where is the golden way of, of basically going through this? So I'm just, you know, saying my opinion and how things are and how I feel like people are going to react to getting completely new gems people want new gems but then they don't want to start over and i totally get that i'm not sure i want to start over but you know i'm ready for whatever they throw my way and i'm just gonna deal with it and can basically see what happens basically so yeah that was the, basically the crystal gems uh, take on it so I know some people might be concerned that starting over and some people are going to be like, I'm quitting the game because, you know, Crystal Gem starting over. I put so much time into it. I totally get that. That's why I'm saying transfer system might be a way of meeting people halfway. I'm not sure. Um, but you guys can let me know in the comments what you guys feel if you want to start over or you want to, you know, have the transfer system or you just want to, you know, convert your gems one to one. And well, then you can't really be mad that there's no content, but I get it. I get it. But that was the first part here, Crystal Gems. Let's see what actually happens. <laughs> I thought that, you know, uh, we were getting new class gems, but we were just getting rings back before that. So uh, I'm not gonna be too predicting on all that. But then they say, I can't confirm nor or deny that anything future updates, but it's going to be a very bright and sunny future with a lots of reasons to look up. So first of all, bright and sunny. Uh, we don't have a lot of sunny stuff, whatever. Uh, but if we go back to when Geode came out, right? Geode was, and, and we sort of, uh, if you sort of look the the thing here, we're saying looking up. We actually did look up uh, when we got to Geode. There was first a big balloon, a big ship that was going to take us to there's sort of the, the the lore thing where you were going from, uh, we were going from, you know, the uh, Trove hub to the Geoden hub sort of taking us that was sort of the thing that sort of was preluding whatever was uh, gonna 
happen. So I'm, I'm not sure if we're going to get another airship, uh, but I'm pretty sure that, uh, you know, we're not going to go down, if that makes any sense. Um, we sort of went, I guess, sort of down in a way, but we definitely went down in the caves. I'm not sure what direction we really took uh, going to the, uh, you know, the Geoden uh, hub and stuff like that. I know, I, thought, I think I remember it just being like a straight shot, but I'm not sure, but we definitely went down in the caves, right? So we're, with this set, I'm pretty sure we're gonna go up. And when it says bright and sunny, uh, that is, says to me, what do we have of sun, for example? My, my mind is going to some sort of sun because we do have the daughter of the moon and the moon, you know, opposite, what is the opposite? That is, of course, sun. So I'm not sure. We, I don't think we are getting daughter of the sun or something like that. We might be. Um, but we do also have the sun goddess statue in the hub, right? We have the sun goddess statue that is just there, right? It doesn't really do anything at all. It's just there. But I sort of looked up what is going to be sun and you know, we do have a night and day cycle in Trove. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I'm, I doubt it, but my guess is something to do maybe with Daughter of the Moon because we haven't heard something for her for a long time. So maybe you want to revamp that. You know, we're we not really, it used to be like a big deal in Trove, you know, Daughter of the Moon, all that stuff, but it hasn't been so since Delve came out, right? So it would be cool if they brought her back in uh, with something else of like, something a conflict maybe sun versus moon maybe that's the mid and then we are in the middle of the conflict i don't know but it could also be something with the sun goddess um maybe they want to do more with like the sun goddess being you know our savior or it's like our god you know and then the all the bad guys and <laughs> they uh, you know uh listen or whatever they praise you know daughter of the moon instead so um maybe that's what is going to happen and um that's at least what we know so far uh, with being bright and sunny. So I don't know if bright is something to do with it as well. I'm not sure, uh, but I don't know anything about. There's nothing in Trove that really resembles brightness uh, instead of light. You know, light is, 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 we do have the stat light. That is something with brightness, I guess, but we do have light. I don't think we're going to get... A brightness stat I'm pretty sure I don't know what what that's gonna definitely would be but I think it's just like very bright so and sunny so uh yeah and and also that's a lot of uh with a lots of reasons to look so a lot of reason also sort of uh I don't want to have too big expectations but if it says lot it could be a lot of uh, things to to go on but you know the map is still big there is still a lot of to uh, you know, explore and stuff like that. So I'm just very excited for what's going to happen, as I said in the beginning. And I know this became maybe a little bit ranty, but I just had a lot to say about this, especially about the crystal gems, because I just want to, you know, sort of, um, you know, uh, look at people's concerns and stuff like that. I know, and I, I, I just hate when people say I'm going to quit the game because of this. Try it out before quitting. And it's totally cool. If you want to quit the game, that's really really up to you that's all your choice but before anything of this happens let it play out let's see what happens i'll of course make videos when everything like is certainty this is just what we we sort of just had so before you guys go and say we don't want crystal gems or all that stuff just let's see what happens it's going to be on the pts server i'm pretty sure it's going to be up very soon and when i say very soon i think like at the end of june so and we also got the sun fest in Ju uh, july and all that stuff so we will see uh maybe it all comes out at the same time um so yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching i could rant on this for hours and hours but i'm gonna cut the video right here i hope you guys enjoyed it even me just rambling on rambling on forever but yes thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye.